-hmm. HIV, three trials to watch in 2024, after a pivotal vaccine trial failed earlier this year, research into treatment and prevention of HIV continues to be vital. The year 2023 started with disappointing news for the field of human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, research after Janssen's phase 3 vaccine trial failed. This setback has had a major impact on the industry and emphasized the need for better treatment and prevention against the virus while researchers continue to push for a vaccine. Dr. Myron Cohen, head of the HIV Prevention Trials Network says there are four areas of research which are being investigated in HIV, prevention, cure, treatment and treating diseases impacted by HIV. Last century, HIV was a death sentence and then all of a sudden, you basically live a normal life. It's a disease that we can manage as well as other diseases with one pill a day, says Cohen. The question is, can we do better than one pill a day? Resistance forces us to be vigilant, so we have to keep making new drugs to try and stay ahead of resistance. According to Dr. Roger Sanders, an infectious diseases professor at the University of Amsterdam, each stage of HIV vaccine development is important. There are so many things to consider, explains Sanders. There's a number of reasons why it's so difficult to make a vaccine and one is the viral diversity and the second is structural or chemical aspects of the envelope protein that is so crucial for vaccines. In terms of a cure, the big problem is stems. HIV hides in cells that are difficult to reach with medication and remain dormant in those cells for a while. When treatment is stopped, it just purges from those sanctuary sites again. As the world continues to wait for a vaccine, it is vital that development continues in all the other stages. According to Global Data's Pharmaceutical Intelligence Center, there are 921 ongoing and planned clinical trials in HIV. Global Data is the parent company of Clinical Trials Arena. Trials are looking to potentially cure at early stage. One issue for HIV research is HIV latency, the process by which host cells can harbor full-length HIV proviruses that are replication-competent but transcriptionally inactive. The lack of transcriptional activity means that latent HIV can escape host immunosurveillance and makes it insensitive to antiretroviral therapy, ART. The Thai Red Cross AIDS Research Center is trialing Immunity Bios Pipeline candidate N803, Nagapendakin Alpha, in a Phase II trial, NCT 04505501. The research center is investigating how the candidate reduces HIV persistence in lymph nodes by N803 in acute HIV infection. The randomized, unblind, controlled trial will investigate the safety, tolerability, and immunomodulation effect of combining N803 with ART. The plan was to enroll 15 patients in the study, 10 in the experimental group and 5 in the control group. The experimental group will receive N803 at 6 micrograms per kilogram every 3 weeks for 3 doses plus ART. The control group will receive ART alone, Associate Director of Infectious Diseases at Global Data. Fiona Chisholm says, HIV latency represents a major obstacle to the eradication of the virus from infected individuals. N803 has been proposed as a latency-reversing agent as it has been shown to activate latently infected cells and prime resting CD4 T cells for CD8 T cell recognition in vitro and ex vivo. Cohen says that trialing a candidate like this presents a risk because preclinical models of the IL-15 mechanism of action, MOA, actually worsened the infection, but he says there is hope that modifications made in N803 can lead to improvement, IL-15 in some papers with animals increases rather than decreases the viral load, says Cohen. But in papers published about N803, which is a modification of IL-15 cytokine, they hypothesize that N803 is going to reduce the absolute amount of DNA that the cells hold which would be valuable downstream if you're trying to cure. A TB vaccine would be hugely important for HIV patients, people living with HIV are more likely than others to become sick with tuberculosis, TB. This is because HIV weakens the immune system, which makes it harder for the body to fight TB germs. Untreated latent TB infection is more likely to advance to TB disease in people with HIV than in people without HIV, as a result, Ongoing trials are investigating TB vaccines in patients both with and without HIV to ensure they are just as efficacious. There is currently only one prophylactic tuberculosis, TB, 
vaccine on the market, the Bacillus calmet garin BCG, vaccine, which was developed around 100 years ago and is considered to have limited efficacy. Especially in older populations, the HIV Vaccine Trials Network and National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases are trialing VAC-01 in patients with and without HIV living in South Africa. The Phase IIA trial, NCT 0594790, is investigating the safety and immunogenicity of the vaccine candidate and primary completion is scheduled for November 2024. The study plans to enroll 276 patients, and it will be conducted in two parts, A and B. Part A will include two cohorts, each cohort will have four groups. Part B will have one cohort which will also have four groups. In the first two cohorts, participants will be randomized to receive MVAC or BCG. Enrollment of the third cohort will proceed if safety criteria are met for the first two cohorts with another randomization between VAC and BCG. There is an urgent need for novel TB vaccines that confer higher levels of protection across all age groups, and this is particularly the case for those living with HIV, Chisholm says. MVAC-01 has demonstrated positive safety, efficacy, and immunogenicity data in preclinical studies and clinical trials. TB and HIV often go together and there are several important aspects. It is very important to see whether TB vaccines work as well in HIV-positive individuals as they do in the general population, Sanders adds, longer-acting, less resistant treatment is needed in HIV, ST Farms Permategravir is a first-in-class potent HIV-1 allosteric integrase inhibitor, Alini, that targets the non-catalytic sites of the viral integrase and interferes with the integrase viral RNA interaction during viral maturation the novel MOA could help in the fight against resistance and could be longer lasting than current therapies, which would improve the quality of life for HIV patients, the phase IIA. Randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled, study, NCT 0586963, is investigating the antiviral effect, safety, tolerability, and pharmacokinetics of permategravir in treatment-naive adults, this was the first therapy with an Alina mechanism of action to reach clinical development, Chisholm says. In phase 1, permategravir was shown to be well tolerated with a consistent pharmacokinetic profile supporting once daily dosing. With phase 2 data eagerly anticipated, permategravir will be one to watch in 2024. Cohen says that this could be a particularly important advancement if efficacious, but lots of questions remain. We are always searching for longer-acting drugs that are less susceptible to resistance. These are some of the most important drugs on the shelf for HIV, integrase inhibitors, Cohen says. This candidate's success depends on a few things, its safety, its potency, how frequently it going to be administered, and how long it will last. The other question is what will it be combined with, because it certainly won't be used alone. A vaccine is not coming soon, but it could be on the way.